everybody. I'll be Hanneman here in San Antonio, Texas. Molly Menard and Michelle Williams against Jen Schneider and Shara Harris. Shara scored the first point there, and an error from Molly, 1-0. Just out, 1-1. to serve. We trade service errors, two serving one. All right, here we go. Two to one, Jen Snyder serving. Going after Molly. Tough pass. Good play by the six foot two, Michelle Williams. She said that was weird. She had to leave her son broke his arm a couple nights ago. So Mark Williams is usually on tour, is taking care of the boys. Missing him this weekend. Old buddy of mine. Jen, bottom of the net, three serving two. This is the four seed with Jen and Shara against the fifth seed with Molly and Michelle. Three serving two. Jen hits it out, 4-2. Right now, Jen and Cher are on the bad side. The wind is blowing behind them. So Michelle and Molly are on the good side, serving into the wind. That's why that ball's moving so much, giving Jen some trouble. Good swing by Jen. Molly guessed on defense and paid the price. Side switch three, serving four. They look tired out there, but it's actually really, really hot. So we just got back from our four hour break to try to avoid some of the Texas heat. And this is the first matches of the late afternoon. Three serving four, game one. Good pass by Molly, good set. Oh, great hustle by Jen. Oh, a good careful play by Molly there. Five serving three. Jen and Shara just got back from Thailand together, went to go play in a tournament that Jen plays every year. And Shara said they had a great time and they spent a lot more time training together, which is nice being a Florida and California team. Nice swing by Shara. Jen, very fiery, as long as the sun doesn't take too much of her energy, it's a good idea to cheer as much as you can. Four serving five. Bad serve there by Jen on the good side. You want to make sure you're making them side out over there. If you guys have any questions for me, my name's Albie Hanneman, the founder of the NVL. Go ahead and put it in the comment box and they'll bring it over to me and I'll answer what I can. Back to back miss serves there. I think it's five, six. Share a back to serve here, one of the better defenders on the tour. And she's also won a tournament, so she is a champion of the NVL. Nice play to tie it up, 6-6. Six, six. Great venue here at Sideliners in San Antonio. Been, the owners here, Carlo and Magda, have been awesome to us, set everything up, and it's a really great new venue for us. We're looking forward to coming back. Fans are loving it here too. Another miss serve. I think that's four miss serves for the start of the game here already. Uh, we have a seven serving six, I believe. Short, 
shot by Cher to side out 7-7. Seven, seven. I think that's when Molly's upset she should have had. But again, being on the good side there, ball dropped pretty quickly in the wind, so that's a tough ball to get. It's a pretty good matchup though. Molly and Michelle beat Jen and Shara in Port St. Lucie in our first tournament. So they're used to each other. Overset there by Shara. Big Michelle at the net. Eight serving seven. Pretty sloppy game so far here. I think they're kind of getting used to the heat a little bit here first. I'm going to start cleaning it up a bit. It is in the 90s, the first comment I've seen here. It is very hot. The wind comes, picks up, and gives them a break, but for the most part, it's pretty hot. Nice serve, smart play by Jen. Taking the easy way out, going over on two. It's 9 9 now. 8 0. 8 0. 8 8. Tournament is at Sideliners Bar and Grill in San Antonio, Texas. 10 courts that we converted into 6. Shara had a good read on that one. Molly and Michelle get a break there. A ball rolled on in the middle of the rally. There'll be a replay. Hey Corey, how you doing buddy? Corey over at Flanagan's in Columbus, Ohio says hi. He, we will be there in our next tournament. Looking forward to that one too. Oh, Molly missed that one. Nine serving eight. See if they can clean this up a little bit here. A lot of errors to start this match. A trouble pass again. Just snuck that through. Usually Jen would block that one, but let that one sneak right through her hands. Nine serving nine. Let's see if Molly can get that tough jump float going here into the wind. Nice play by Michelle, dropped on the angle, good set. Big block by Schneider, crowd favorite. Big block, big big point opportunity there by Michelle and uh, Molly. Good swing by Michelle, but Jen was expecting that low angle hit and grabbed it. Now they're miss serve. 10-10. That's five missed serves if I'm counting right. One more point before the side switch and the technical break. And another missed serve. 11-10, timeout. You don't usually see that many missed serves. The heat has something to do with it. This is again the fourth and fifth seeds battling. Battling the heat. It's a great matchup though. These guys are all friends as well. The winner gets to play the winner gets to play Carolina Marciniak and Raquel Ferreira tonight under the lights. We're doing a night format, so we have a men's and a women's match here at Sideliners Bar, which will be really fun. Turns into the player party, beach party right after. A lot of people are coming to that. It should be a lot of fun. Live, so jumping in China. Get a feeling for this thing. Everyone's loving Facebook Live, getting lots of engagement, lots of people watching. It's a, it's 
timeout at 21 total, so they're back on now. Megan Fraser. How you doing, Megan? All right, so Jen and Sharon now are on the good side because the wind is blowing in their face, which makes the ball drop a lot faster. Unfortunately, a lot of those balls are dropping in the net, missing serves, but we'll see who's more consistent here in the second half of the game. All right, here we go, 11-10. Good pass by Molly. Good set. Somebody netted. Jen, Sned, uh, Jen Schneider netted there. Sharon needs to keep that ball off the net a little bit, and that's an easy point for them, but she dug it a little too tight. A lot of missed opportunities here starting this match. A lot of nerves going for some reason. 11, serving 11. Oh, bad pass by, oh. That was not what we're looking for. And they passed that ball. Pretty good serve by Molly though, got Sharon in some trouble. Wind picked up a little bit the last second there. A serve, Molly 12, serving 11. Much better pass by Shara. And a perfect hit down the middle. Good play by Shara. That looked better. You want to make sure you're passing the ball well if you're a shorter player. So they're going to go after the shorter ones here. Between uh, Molly and Michelle. Got a couple inches difference. Michelle's about 6'2". Molly's almost 6 feet, so I guess she would be the shorter player. The players usually, usually go after Molly. All right, here we go. Jen Schneider serving. I think it's 13, 13. Let's see if Jen keeps the serve in here to make them side out. Got the volunteers walking back there, keeping score for us. Great serve down the middle. Sometimes you serve it in and you have a better chance to win. I think they're going to figure that out here pretty quick. 13, no, that's 14, 13. One more point before the side switch. No, 13, 12. Still three points. Multiples of seven. Oh, great pass. That was a good serve, too. Pulled a little tight. Good play by Jen. We got some confusion over there on the other side. Another point for Jen and Shara. 14 serving 12. I'll give you an update on that other court here when I get a chance. All right, broken play again. Bad pass turned into pure mayhem over there. I'm sure they're going to call a timeout. Well, they should call a timeout, but they're not going to. 15 serving 12. Jen just said she's going to serve out of the middle, probably serve towards the middle. Good serve again. Molly didn't move her feet. Got aced again. 16-12 switch. Probably needed a timeout there. But it slowed down Jen's momentum with her serving and her rhythm. Probably call a timeout here, I would think, but they're on the good side, down 12-16. Another miss hit by Molly, it's 17-12. I think that's about six straight points. Maybe they'll think about a timeout here. I'm not sure. And the veteran Michelle figures out it's time to stop the bleeding. 17-12. Game one.
sir. We're working on the live stream. It's all based on the internet connection, which they had put in a new internet system for us to come here, but I will definitely tell the live stream crew what's happening. I'm sure they're on top of it. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I love it too, Jennifer. So we had a huge qualifier here yesterday. A lot of teams battled out for the last four spots. Top 12 were automatically in, and then there were four more spots to move into the main draw. We had a morning session, and then now we're in the later afternoon session. And then we have tomorrow morning, and then we have a break again in the afternoon, and then the finals tomorrow night. So we are definitely dealing with some heat, but the players are doing a good job with it. You're welcome, Chris. This Facebook Live thing is pretty sweet. First time I've been on it. Saying thanks for the great coverage. It's amazing how a little iPhone can do this. All right, out of the timeout. 12, 17 serving 12, Jen Schneider and Cher Harris. On this side, we have Michelle Williams and Molly Menard. Kara was on that, but she touched it, so we have a side out finally. 13 serving 17. All right, here we go. 13 17 on the good side here. Let's see if they can make a comeback. Good serve, better pass. Molly got a little off balance there. Another side out for the other side. score of 19-13. See if they can make a comeback here. Just got to clean it up a little bit. These teams usually play very close matches. Again, it's just game one, so you got to win two out of three. That's a good pass there. Michelle took care of it herself. What a dig by Shara. Wow. Good looking play by them. They're rolling here. They are rolling up 20 to 13. Game point. Great pass. There's the pass that she needs. 21, oh, sorry, 2014 serving again over here. Daenerys Nyquist won the first game. Bryce and Osborne are up. In the second game, 9-6, for those of you that were asking about that, they're playing behind me. Give you a little update. All right, that's a side switch, 15-20. All right, 15 serving 20 here. Pride of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, Molly Menard to serve. Easy, right to Molly. Good low, 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 and right back to Shara. Good play there. Finally starting to play a little better. Might be too little too late, but we'll see. 16, serving 20. Immediate timeout by Cher Harris. Didn't want to see anything happen strange here. 17 20. I think if Molly and Michelle would have used the timeout a little bit uh, earlier, they'd still be in this game closer. Maybe they'll learn uh, a lesson. 
from Shara's quick timeout to stop the momentum. So 17.20 coming out of the timeout in a minute. So 13-8, Osborne and Rice are beating Maneri and Nyquist, trying to force that to a game three. That's a winner's bracket game. Two really good, really, really good two young teams there. They're right out of college or in college still. Got a lot of young players. Here we go. Let's see if uh, Jen and Shara can take care of the good side and just get one side out. Three in a row for Menard and Williams. See if they can make it four. Keep the game alive. Good serve in the middle. Good pass by Jen. And game. 21-17 first game. All right, so here comes uh, game two here next. Jenna and Shara serve the ball in the court. That's really what happened in that game. Molly and Jen just need to clean it up a bit. They seem to get into some trouble passing. Um, pretty sloppy first game though. I think they'll see some better volleyball coming up here next. Huge block by Joyner. Just giving you guys some extra coverage here. Got Skyler McCoy and Joyner. And it's Chris Jenkins and Todd Strasberger. Pretty insane uh, losers bracket game there. They both lost very close first round matches. So the loser will be out. Not sure who won the first game. Try to get that to you. What Skyler does so well is gets a lot of points with his jump serve. Won a tournament last year in Milwaukee with Mark Williams, Olympia Mark. It's Michelle's husband who's not here. Might want to give Michelle a quick call and fire her up a little bit. But Mark's partner Skyler picked up Joiner for this tournament and seems to be doing pretty well. Let's see if he can get another ace here. And he does, drops it in front of Chris. Huge difference maker when you can serve like that. Score! What did he say? Seven all. I think he said seven all. Not sure who won the first game, but now Skyler's on the, the bad side. Let's see if he can still serve like that on the bad side. Wow. Ripped it. Todd sets it. Very good shot by Chris. Good out of system play there. Chris says, I got this. I think what he's referring to is he's going to pass better for his partner. Skyler won the first game. Todd and Chris need to win this one. I think it's 9 7.
All right, we'll be back over with uh, Menard, Williams, Schneider, and Harris. Move you back over there. All right, zero zero. Share to serve. I'll give you. I'm gonna give you some of this right now. Kind of trying to mess with this and see if it helps. All right, first serve. Good set. Still have defensive skills. Just protected the iPhone. One zero. Good play by Molly and Michelle. Pretty smooth there. All right. One serving zero. Pretty big side out to start the game. The wind's picking up, so that was a really good play, being on the bad side. Shira moved over to the left, by the way, which is an interesting strategy. Surprised she did that after they won the first game. Let's see if that works for them. Good side out, little dribbler there. One, one. Schneider back to serve. Good block by Jen. All six foot three of her. There she is. Wearing all four girls are wearing their smack sportswear bikinis that everyone loves. Looking good. Great pass again. And Michelle hit it out. You look a little tentative over there. Pass by Molly again, good set. That's a good hit. Wow, what a dig by Schneider. That is really good. Got McCoy, the effort by McCoy over there. He's saying sorry girls, he ran all the way on their court. Kid's got a lot of intensity when he plays defense, laughing, Jen making fun of him. Got a family out here. All right, back 3-1. We got our live stream going right now, guys. NVL.com backslash TV. Pretty big match going on there, too, if you want to watch both. Good serve by Jen. Serve Michelle, though, which was a mistake. Michelle was happy she got served. I am Albie Hanneman, founder of the NVL, and I'm doing some Facebook Live for you guys. Someone just asked who was speaking, that's who is on here, enjoying uh, being around the matches and the players and having fun with us. Jacob Atwell, how you doing buddy? Good deep serve. It's really not crispy side outs going on, but they're making it happen somehow. Four to two. So important that uh, Shara and Michelle, Shara and Schneider get another point on the good side here. The one's really picking up. Oh, great serve. Weird shot again. I don't really know what that was, but Jen tried to swat it and missed it. We got three serving four. Menard and Williams move to the good side. All right, here we go. Let's see if these guys can force a game three. Schneider and Shara Harris won the first game, 21-17. Uh, great serve by Molly Menard there. Wow, that was not uh, very smooth on the other side. Good looking serve by Molly. Gets her serve going. Hi, hi Paula, Molly says hi. Half of Wisconsin is checking us out right now. Good serve by Molly again. And Jen listens to share his angle call. Michelle was a little bit inside, couldn't get a good block on that, but side out five, serving four. Hey Jason, how you doing, buddy? Thank you very much. 
Jason's been on volleyball vacations with three out of four of these girls playing right now. Uh, the Turks and Caicos again, November 6th to the 13th, so hopefully we'll see you guys out there. To hang out with the pros the whole week. Volleyball, 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 and a lot of fun. Volleyballvacations.com, check it out. Oh, great serve. Get that, but couldn't. Good side out by Jen there, swinging away. Second game again here, someone just asked. So the, the, the uh, far court, far side of the court is Jen Schneider and Cher Harris. They won the first game 21 17 and are up 6 5 in the second. See if Cher goes after Molly again. She does. Oh, what a shot by Molly, wow. Michelle yelling line, Cher heard her, ran to the line, and Molly said, that is not a good call, Michelle, I'm gonna do this on my own, and hit the angle. And that is what just happened, and got a nice side out. All right. Six serving six, second game. Another miss serve. Seven serving six. Great pass by Molly. Great set. Molly fails to clear the net. Eight, six. Jen and Cher going to the good side here. Molly and Michelle got a lot of work to do now. They the idea is to try to get more, try to get four out of seven when you're on the bad side is a pretty, pretty good job by them. So let's see if they can do that to tie the score or go up 11-10 is what they're trying to do. Oh God, what a great serve. Good pass by Michelle and she hits it out. Down 9-6. All right, here we go. Nine serving six. Another bad pass there by Molly. She's not moving her feet very well here. And Michelle had to run across the, the sand there. Couldn't get it. I would hope they would call a timeout here. I really hope they call a timeout here. I actually get to coach Molly a lot, but I can't coach while I'm doing this. And apparently my telepathy did not work because it is 10-6, no timeout, and another point for Jen. I would hope they would call a timeout here, as it is really strange that they're not. Um, okay, 11 serving six. Jen makes a mistake and serves Michelle, and she missed it. Now it's 12-6, guys. I think you should let me know if you think they should have called a timeout a long time ago or if they're going to not call one here. I am going to be surprised again. Okay, they called a timeout. Got a long way to come back here. They got to stop the momentum. When people score more than two points in a row, you want to automatically think about calling a timeout. Yes, Chris, I coach Molly. Uh, at the academy at Club Med in Florida. We teach our kids at a very young age about game management. This is not the best game management. I don't know if the heat's getting to them, but you typically want to slow them down, call a timeout, and then hopefully they come back and don't give the same tough serve they were just thinking about. So let's check out some of these other games. Karen McCoy, there is your boy, oh, big serve again, all right, chance for a point, perfect set, Todd digs it, perfect set, a little tight, 
Now let's see if Chris can get up and put a ball away. And that's a big point there. Joiner's complaining, thinking that that was a touch. That was a pretty big point, because it was 12-13. It would have been a 13-13 tie. McCoy and Joyner won the first game. So Chris and Todd are trying to force a game three. The loser of that game is out of the tournament. So this is two very good teams. Lost very close matches in their first round and are in the snake pit, we call it. All right, Chris to serve. Oh, big serve. Very, very uncharacteristic shank by Skyler. Kicks the ball out of the court. Gets a yellow card. All right, coming back over here. I'll go back to that next. 12, serving six again. And what do you know, guys? You call a timeout. She misses the serve. I am a little bit surprised they took so long to call it, but maybe they'll use that momentum to get back in this game. Court management, game management, game management. You want to manage the game. You do not want to let a team get five points in a row before you consider a timeout. That's not good match management. All right, Michelle comes back, misses another serve, puts him in the hole 13-7. Looking for a 13-8 side switch and timeout. So Michelle and Molly want to stay in this game. They really need to get this side out here. Sorry, Shara missed that one and Jen gave it a good effort, but it's a 13-8, 21-point timeout. They will be there for about five minutes. I'm going to bring you back over there. It's my daughter, Maya. Maya Hanneman, say hi. Now, can you move, please? Thank you. Watch out, babe. I'm trying to show this game. Thank you. Let's get over, honey. Maya played in the qualifier. She just turned 15 years old and is... Played in Orlando and the AAU Nationals indoor for four days and then we took a flight right after we lost on Wednesday and she played the next morning here in the qualifier with her partner with Maya who's a great young player here in San Antonio. Her dad Jason who coaches a great beach club here in San Antonio. They Ran into a tough Florida State team and lost in the qualifier, but played very well. All right, Brandon Joyner with a good side out there. They're down 14-16, but they did win the first game. So trying to get back in it and close this out with two. Nobody wants to go three. You never know what's going to happen in the third game. I'm going to give you a quick turnaround here. We got Maneri, Nyquist, and Rice, and Osborne, 9-9 nine, nine in the third. So I'm going to give you one point and then go back to the match you were watching. Maneri with a great dig. Very good defender. Now they're up 10-9. It's a winner's bracket game. Very good game. Four young players that are going to be around for a long time in this sport. Okay, over here, Jen and Shara sided out to make it 14-8. Perfect pass by Molly, perfect set, and easy side out. Great tempo. 9-14, they're going to have to make a run here if they want to stay with it. Jen with a tight pass, Michelle with a great play. Got a dog watching over there. Jen hits it out. Puts him back in the game, 10-14 here. Michelle there. Molly right behind her. Been partners for three years now. Three years. 
very comfortable with each other, but they need to do something to get back in this game here. Bad pass, really high set, easy play for Michelle. All right, good save by Molly there on a tight set. Yeah, Jen puts it away. Good reach by Jen, gets on top of it. Let me show you a great rally going on over here. 15-19, Skyler for the swing, and a big block by Chris Jenkins to go up 20 to 15. Back over here, don't get mad at me, Paula. Molly's mom, Paula, probably telling me, stop doing that. Shara serves out. Eleven serving fifteen here. All right. Let's see if they can make something happen and force a game three here. Good serve by Molly. Big block by Michelle. Twelve fifteen. We got ourselves a ball game now. We got a dog really enjoying watching this. Maya, you want to pull that dog back a little bit? Just pull the dog back. Ooh, tough serve. Tough serve. Molly's there. Oh, and she missed it. I don't know if the dog liked that play very much. Another chance to go 15-13. Couldn't clear the net. All right, over here we got game three about to happen. Serving 16. Big opportunity there for Molly and Michelle. Good serve. Shara being cagey, just going over on one. Catching Molly and Michelle sleeping. Hi, Jen. Jen Schneider, fan favorite. Serving 12. Go, go, go! Yes! 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 Game three. Minari serves out. Gotta watch this one. Now we got 13 serving 14. Rice and Osborne. Have the score here. Keep the game alive. And stay in the winner's bracket. Let's see if they swing away here to win the game. Oh, easy dig. Big block from Taylor and match. All right, back over here. Oh, Molly and Michelle have made a comeback. Sorry, guys. 17 14 now. Nice, Shara with a nice shot goes up 18 14. Eighteen serving fourteen. Oh, trouble! Oh, uncare. Just pull the dog on the other side. Uncharacteristic communication issues there. Nineteen serving fourteen. Game two. Emilia, no, we are not going to Milwaukee this year. We will try to be back in Milwaukee next year. We are going to be in Virginia Beach for the East Coast Surfing Championships. The last weekend of August. We're looking forward to that. Shara again doing KG on one place, celebrating like crazy because they earned this victory. Played a really consistent game. So we have match point here, 20 serving 14. 
Menard and Michelle Williams are not out of the tournament. They'll play here in the Casio next. Good shot by Molly. Now they simplify it. Go into the good side here. See if they can make a comeback. 15 serving 20. Kaya posting on here to come check us out at Club Med Academies. It's the only beach volleyball academy in the world. Kids are going to school there full time. Game point. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. 21 15. Jen and Shara looked a little cleaner. Played really well. Michelle and Molly are not out of the tournament. They are going to play again in about a half an hour. There's Jen and Shara waving to you guys. Molly and Michelle are going to take a break, get in the shower, and regroup. All right. Shall we do that? All right, guys, we're going <laughs> to. Which Hanneman? Come on, man. Um, game three here, guys. We're going to shoot over here to Strasburger and Jenkins against McCoy and Joyner. Start of game three. Should we walk over there? Just stay here. Let's walk over there. All right, yeah, let's give him some extra yeah, co I mean, extra coverage here. coverage for you guys. Chris Jenkins to serve. Serve that one in the net. Two to one. Joiner to serve. These are two very good teams that got knocked, uh, lost their first rounds in battles. Now they are fighting to stay in the tournament. Chris up the hit. Huge block by Brad. Very patient, took his line. That was what he's supposed to do. Pressed his right hand. And you are rewarded. Chris has to make up for that missed serve and getting blocked here. So we'll see if he does something differently to get himself a point. They're going after Chris. Big, big high hit there. Nothing you can do about that. Nice comeback by Chris. Brad's a bit frustrated, but not much he can do. Chris jumps 43 inches and swings as high as he can. Brandon. Brandon Joyner. Thank you. Great serve. Let's go, boys. Chemistry by these guys. Come on, Sky. Come on. There's your boy. There's your boy, Karen. Good looking young talent on this tour. Champion already. Hey, the Chris followed through in the net. Oh, what's wrong with that knee? Stop it. Stop it. Five serving two. Skyler McCoy here. Come on, let's go. Right now. Brandon, a big block. Nice. Big blocker, good setter. Good pass. Oh, hit right in the face. This could be painful. Let's see if we got any blood. 
That's called a field goal. Right through his hands, right off his face. Sunglasses blew up. Partner Skyler helping him out. Hi, I'm Maya Hanneman. I'm Alvi's daughter. I go to the Club Med Academies in Port St. Lucie, Florida, where the National Volleyball League is based out of. Do you want to announce anything? Yeah, Maya's also playing uh, on the NBL tour, getting some good experience playing against the best girls here, best women. Indoor season just ended a couple days ago, so now we get to just focus on the beach. We have our Global Challenge Invitational, the biggest junior tournament on the East Coast. Third weekend of July, so that'll be fun. And head to California playing AAU championships in Hermosa Beach and then we will be in Hermosa Beach for the NBL. Of course we have Columbus coming up next. Three serving five in the third game. Oh that is a very aggressive play by Skyler. Very smart choice. Six to three. Skyler and Brandon are up. Game three. Martin says hello, Maya. Hey. <laughs> hello, Martin from Turks. So what you're seeing right now is Chris is jumping early, hanging, and trying to turn line. Brandon is being very disciplined, blocking line, taking line. So. He either needs a swing angle here or shoot line as he's not having any success trying to hit that low line hit. That one he got away with. Tell us in the comment box who you want to win this match. I'd like to hear who's watching and who's pulling for who. Four serving seven. Todd Strasburger back to serve. Controversial play there. Chris jumped very high and it looked like he may have touched it before Skyler touched it on Skyler's side of the net is what the referee is calling. Pretty big point because it would have made it 7-5. Now it's 8 serving 4. 8 serving 4. Skyler McCoy back to serve. They switched it up and went to Todd. Don't know why they would do that. That's why they would do that. Because Brandon is a blocking machine right now. It's nice playing with a big blocker as a defender. Then Skyler's hoping they're going to shoot a ball here and he can go run it down. He's pretty happy with Brandon right now. Nine serving four. A lot of game left. See if they can make something happen. Oh, another big play by Brandon Scatter. Puts it up. Down 10 to 4. Not sure why these guys haven't called a timeout earlier, but they are young. 
and very talented. I think they're going to take one now. Yep, there's your timeout. Down 10 4, see if they come back and get a side out. Guys, again, if you go to the nvl.com backslash TD, it's a great live stream. You can watch different angles, slow motion, they have different things happening. It's been uh, even the instant replay going now. We've been a lot of work making that thing. He works so hard on better. the ref, like the whole game, and then he friggin' gets the call right when he asks for it. Such a fucking Oh, live. All right. All right, we have some uh, we have some uh, high tempers happening here. Todd is upset that the other side was talking to the ref a lot and feels like that's why they got that call. That is a blocking clinic, ladies and gentlemen. That is probably his sixth block for a point. In game three, you can't ask for anything more of your partner. Now up 11-4. Here's the young Skyler McCoy, back to serve. Mix it up and did a little jump floaty that curved away from Chris. Got another point. This lead is getting a little bit insurmountable. But let's see if they can mount a comeback over there. Todd passes. Great dig. Wow, what a play. Great play. Oh, look at the kid run. Oh, he's so fast. They're up 12 to 4, and they have that kind of hustle to try to get 13 to 4. You gotta love that. That is great effort. They could have easily not gone for that, but they, they want to get done. They want to get ready for their next match. Great volleyball. Give you guys a close up of the young buck here. Five serving 12. That was for you, Haley, who thinks he's very cute. You are not alone in that category. He's single. Another missed serve as they're trying to make something happen. Can't blame Chris for that. 13 serving five. Maybe I'll get uh, Skyler to say hi to you, Haley, after the match here. That is another block. Chris trying to turn line on Brandon again for his seventh block for a point. This is one of the best blocking displays I've seen in quite a while. Chris in the net. Wow, what a good third game from Brandon Joyner. Kind of made a name for himself there with his blocking. All right, there you go. So Chris and Todd are now out of the tournament. I'll bring Skyler over here to say hi to Haley, just because that's what we do. All right, Haley, I hope you're still watching. Skyler, we're on uh, Facebook Live. Right on, what's up? Got a lot of people cheering for you. We have um, 
Haley Joy, who thinks you're very cute. And I promised, I promised that, that we would come say hi to her. What do you think? What was the reason why you guys won that game? Um, you know, it was tied up. Went to the third set, and uh, Brandon was the difference there. He's up there making big press on the block, and uh, you guys can see he stopped him pretty effectively. So Yeah, that was a pretty good blocking display. I think he had seven blocks per points. Yeah. Um, I think, is it that they don't want to deal with your defense? And could, so they're testing the block? Could be. I don't know. Um, they didn't really do too many uh, roll shots or uh, finesse shots. So I was looking for them. I was there. But uh, they decided to keep swinging and testing Brandon. And he was doing his thing up there. Well, Sk Skyler is an NBL champion. He won uh, last year in Milwaukee with Mark Williams. And Mark is not here this weekend. So he picked up a big young stud with Brandon. And wish you guys luck in the next round. Thanks, Alvin. Say bye to Haley. See you, Haley, and thanks for uh, tuning in, Facebook fans. Go NBL. Woo! Woo! Thank you, guys. We'll talk to you again. Thanks for watching.